What is up, guys? It's the BYT here, back with another video. This is me, my Armageddon 2005 review. Let's get started here. This is the last of the Armageddons I've watched. The last one right here. Page review wasn't good either. I mean, not one good Armageddon so far, which is kind of sad. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, review 2006 pretty soon. I don't know whether it'd be up today or tomorrow or I don't really know. <laughs> you can see I'm tired. Oh, I don't know, but uh in the opening match, JBL defeated Matt Hardy. Alright match, nothing special, two stars. M and M defeated Psychosis and Super Crazy. Two and a half stars. Obviously, you can't have psychosis and super crazy go over here because uh, it just wouldn't look good. Oh, we have a best of seven series. How fitting. Chris Benoit beating Booker T for the U.S. title. This best of seven. Three and a half stars. Best match of the night. Let's continue. Um, Bobby Lashley defeat William Regal and Paul Burchill. This is back when Bobby Lashley just first started coming into the company. He was there. He was fresh. He kind of reminded me of a uh, a black version of uh, Brock Lesnar and a Goldberg mix. But um, I don't think he was as good. I don't think he looked nearly as badass as Brock Lesnar and Goldberg did. Never really was a big fan of Bobby Lashley. But he is. I like to watch his old matches because I like his style. One and a half stars. Kid Cash defeated... Hooven to Guerrero for the cruiserweight title. The cruiserweight was, division was shit at this time. Uh, as you can tell, the pay-per-view cards aren't good either because you know the rosters were getting slim. Just imagine now what it's gonna look like. But uh, Kid Cash got the win, two and a quarter. Not a very good match. Uh, Big Show defeated Batista and Rey Mysterio. Oh, Big Show and Kane defeated Rey Mysterio and Batista for the WWE Tag Team Championships. I was expecting this to be a lot better. Never was a fan of the um, the team of Kane and Big Show. I thought they were kind of boring together. I think they would be a lot better separate. And it's kind of a shame they took the mask off of Kane, but uh, kind of ruined just kind of ruined him. I mean, he did have that little, nice little run after he got the mask off, but um, then it just went downhill from there. Kane just got more and more irrelevant as the years went on. But, uh, yeah, two and a quarter. Undertaker defeated Randy Orton in a Hell in a Cell match. A lot of people really liked this match. I thought it was it was a good match. I mean, like, for a main event, it was very underwhelming. Um, I don't know. I just never really was a fan of uh, just these guys together in, in the main event. I don't know. So I really wasn't into the match that well. I thought their handicap match with Randy Orton's father was a lot better. I think it's SummerSlam 2005. And also their Mania match I thought was better than this. But uh, yeah, Undertaker got the win. Three stars. Pay-per-view. Hold on, let me see the ratings. Just, just so many, just a very mediocre show. Pay-per-view gets a 5.25 out of 10. See you guys later. Actually, you know what? It gets it should get a 5.5. You know, that's a little too low based on the ratings. It really wasn't that bad. It was still a bad show, but not that bad. 5.5 out of 10. See you guys later. Peace out. Hopefully Arm Armageddon 2006 looks pretty good.